This video, we're going to review lab 6.3.5, which is exploring a PIPA addressing in Network Modeler. So we're going to use this Network Modeler to set up a model of a network and see how a PIPA is used in this. So if you don't know, a PIPA is an addressing scheme that computers will assign themselves. If they are set up to use the DHCP, they don't get a response from a DHCP server, then they will automatically assign themselves an address in the APIPA range. So what we need to do first in our network modeler, we're gonna build our, a little network. So we're gonna add three computers. So if I click down on the little computer icon, it gives me my three options. So I'm just gonna drag those out and a little bit of a, design there and now we're going to add a switch so i'm going to click on the switch icon drag that out to the middle and now we need to connect the computers to the switch so i'm going to hit the connection icon i'm going to go pc1 ethernet to switch do port one pc2 to switch port two and the last one to switch port three <clears throat> so now, if I go to home PC1, take a look at that. I'm going to right click. Oh, I need to turn these off. Okay, now I can right click and launch Windows. And I'm going to run an IP config all. Now, I normally wouldn't run an IP config all for this, I would just run an IP config. But sometimes these lab labs are a little picky. So I'm going to go ahead and run the command they want me to. But you can see IP configs going to show me what I want to know. 169.254 is an APIPA address. I'll run the all just so that I can make the lab happy. So you can see with all, it shows you that's that info plus a whole bunch more. Now I'm also seeing DNS info and MAC address, a whole bunch of extra stuff. Okay, so we're gonna try pinging home, yeah, home dash PC2. You can see we get a reply ping with that. It also has an APIPA address, 169.254. So let's answer our questions. Which network is this assigned to? So it's 169.254.201. We know it's 201 because we're seeing that right there, right with our subnet mask at 255. This is an APIPA address. We know that because 169.254 is reserved for APIPA. And why was it successful? So they both have APIPA addresses. They definitely don't have DHCP. They're both on the same network. That's true because they're both APIPA and they are both connected to the same switch. They are, but that's not why they can ping each other. They, they could be plugged into each other and still ping each other because we're on the same addresses. Okay, so we've answered those questions. Now we're gonna go back to the modeler and we are going to add a router. So I'm gonna drag my router out here and it wants us to connect that. So I'm gonna go zero to zero. Okay, so now we are going to go back to home PC1, turn off my connector tool, and right click and launch Windows back on home PC1. And now I'm just going to hit the up arrow, and instead of IP config all, I'm going to do renew. What this will do is force it to send out another DHCP request to see if it can get an address. And it looks like it did because we are no longer on a PIPA. So now we want to answer question four. Okay, so the new address assigned is 192.168.1.20. And we're going to test connectivity just going to hit the up arrow again to ping home PC2. And you can see that times out. And we're going to test the gateway. 
So we can see the default gateway that I got was 192.168.1.1. So that's the router address, your default gateway, default router, same thing. So I'm going to ping 192.168.1.1. And we can ping that because the router I assume is hosting DHCP. Otherwise we would have gotten an address sooner. So, um, we can ping that, but we can't ping this. So why is the ping to home PC no longer successful? They don't have a PIPA. They don't both have DHCP. They're not on the same network is the deal because this is still on the 169.254.201 network. We are now on 192.168.1 on that network. All right, why is the ping to, okay, so next it wants us to go over to home PC2. So I'm going to go back to my modeler, right click on home PC2, get the shell open up, shell, and let's see. So now it wants us to do an IP config renew over here. And now we're on that network, 192.168.1. Can, I don't know why it wants us to check the addressing again, but I will. I mean, we just saw it after the renew, but okay, we got that. Now from home PC2, from home PC2, home PC1 and the gateway. Okay, so we're going to test connectivity by pinging home PC1. So I'm going to ping home dash PC1. That's successful. We'll ping the gateway 192.168.1.1. That's successful. And let's look at question six. Now they're successful because we both have DHCP. That's put us on the same network. Again, it doesn't matter that we're on the same switch. So you may have to, I don't know if the lab is going to be happy with me just testing it on this computer or not. You might have to go test it on home PC1 and the gateway, but we should be good to go now.